What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit that bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. Now I am back with my original segment, Boxing Ego's First Look, a tale of the tape series where I give you guys a sneak peek, a preview of the fight before the fight. This Saturday, it goes down. Saturday, December 19th, at the theater, Madison Square Garden, we have the historic battle. This is the first time ever that I can recall seeing two two-time Olympic gold medalists from the Olympics who have done well between the two of them there's only one defeat they've done well as pros beyond the Olympics beyond the amateurs and now they're fighting in the square circle Lomachenko he's defending his WBO junior lightweight title against the WBA super bantamweight title is and that's um Guillermo Rigondeau Rigondeau is moving up two weight classes to meet Lomachenko at his weight at 130. This will be on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, live starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Time. Promoted by Top Rank in association with Rock Nation, again at Madison Square Garden. Tickets sold out. This is a phenomenal fight. The fight card has other people like Mick Connellan, uh, Michaela Mayer, uh, who else is on the card? Shakur Stevenson. I believe Bryant Jennings. So it should be overall a very good night of boxing punctuated by, of course, the main event. Now, I'm really looking forward to this fight. First of all, it's on ESPN. Pacquiao versus Jeff Horn was another fight was on ESPN. Crawford versus Ndongo. I went to Omaha and Lincoln and covered that particular fight. That was another ESPN fight. It's good to see boxing back on these networks. You could just have a basic cable package and still get to watch the fight. The more eyes, the merrier. A lot of people are maybe even away from school and stuff like that with the holidays. So it should be all eyes on this particular fight. Definitely a boxing fan, boxing purist dream. Again, you got two two-time Olympic gold medalists. This doesn't happen often, right? And they're squaring off against each other. Lomachenko does have one loss, which we'll get to, against Orlando Salido. But since then, he's remained unbeaten. He's never avenged that loss to Salido, but he's looked pretty impressive against names like Nicholas the Axeman Walters, also Jason Sosa, who was a champion, and different people like that. Gary Russell Jr., another great performance by Vasil Lomachenko. Guillermo Rigondeau was the one to dethrone Nonito Donaire, who hadn't lost in over a decade, about 11 years. Nonito Donaire had speed, had power, had brutally knocked out guys. And at the time, a lot of people thought Donaire would be too big, too strong for Rigondown. Rigondown started pulling away around the midway point of that particular fight. He's also beaten guys like Joseph Ekbeko. Recently, he knocked out Moises Flores. It was changed to a no contest. And here we are. Again, Rigondown moving up two weight categories to face Lomachenko. And Lomachenko's from the Ukraine. Ukraine has a very good boxing program. From there, we've seen people like Obviously, the Klitschko brothers. We've seen people like Vodzdik, who's at light heavyweight. You've had a lot of just different talent. Victor Postal, and they know how to box. Same thing with the Cuban boxing program. Rigondeau is trained by Pedro Diaz, who actually trained Miguel Cotto for his fight with Floyd Mayweather. And Cotto gave Floyd one of his toughest fights in his career. So Pedro Diaz is definitely a good trainer. He's worked with a lot of top name talent and worked with the Olympic team. So this is just an exciting fight, monumental fight. People like Roy Jones Jr. are on record basically saying this is the best fight in history on paper. You know what I mean? Two two-time Olympic gold medalists. Like there's a lot of great fighters who don't even have gold medalists. Uh, you look at Gennady Golovkin. He, he has a silver medal. Amir Khan, silver medal. Floyd Mayweather doesn't have a silver medal. I think he has a bronze medal because he got robbed. Roy Jones Jr. got robbed in South Korea, Seoul, Korea, and he didn't even get a gold medal. So, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people who don't even have a gold medal and they're very talented fighters. So, imagine those two fighters that got not one, but two gold medals when they competed. So, this should be explosive. Both fighters look extremely ready. They sound extremely confident. In this particular bout, I've seen Lomachenko, he did an interview. He says he believes that Rigonau's too old 
and too small for him. He's confident. Rigondeaux has stated on more than one occasion in interviews that he doesn't think weight is going to be the factor. Skills pay the bills, and he knows he has that. So he says he's coming to take coming to take Lomachenko down. Lomachenko said he's going to squash him. Rigondeaux said he's going to paint a masterpiece. And just like Highlander, there can be only one. I'm looking forward to this, people. December 9th. Now let's take a look at the tale of the tape. Vasil Hightech, the Matrix, Lomachenko has a record of 9-1. and one. That one loss was to veteran Orlando Salido, who has been in there with a ton of quality names. Robert the Ghost Guerrero, uh, Juan Manuel Marquez, he's been in there with Your York is Gamboa, Mikey Garcia, Orlando Salido is definitely a veteran. And that was the only person to beat Lomachenko. It was Lomachenko's second pro fight back in 2014. Again, Lomachenko has not avenged that loss, but he has went on to beat other top champions, former champions, things of that sort. Future champions like Gary Russell Jr. and Jason Sosa, who was a champion. Also, Nicholas Walters, who was a champion at a point and knocked out Nonito Donaire. So he's doing well for himself in a short period of time. Now you look at El Chacal, Guillermo Rigondeaux, perfect record. As a pro, he has a record of 17 and 0. The age, this is very concerning. Lomachenko believes he's too youthful, too in his prime, and Rigondeaux's too old. Lomachenko is listed at 29 years old. Rigondeau is listed at 37 years old. Some people say age ain't nothing but a number. Some people feel father time catches up to the best of them. Height, another important category. Lomachenko is the taller fighter. He's listed at five foot six inches tall. Two Rigondeaux's five foot four inches tall. So we'll see if um, with the defense and the, the mobility and the agility and movement of Rigondeau, if he can create a moving target and just being a smaller guy, if he can create that puzzle. This is taking place in Lomachenko's division where he has the WBO belt. He got that WBO belt. His first fight at that weight class, knocking out Rocky Martinez, Roman Martinez. The fight is taking place at 130 pounds. Again, Rigondeaux is moving up two weight classes to meet Lomachenko. So definitely gutsy, definitely a ballsy move from Rigondeaux, who could choose, I mean, if anything, he could have just moved up to 126, pursued guys that have avoided him in the past, the Scott Quiggs, Carl Frampton, Leo Santa Cruz, Abner Matis, but he's going for the big fish, which is high tech. Some people like ESPN and HBO have Lomachenko on their pound for pound top three list. Some people have him in the top pound for pound number one spot with Andre Ward retiring, Floyd Mayweather retiring. This fight, two two-time Olympic gold medalists. We're going to see what's what. Now, this is the final category. Very interesting. The shorter man has the longer arms. Lomachenko has a reach of 65 and a half inches. Even though he's two inches taller, he has the shorter arms. Rigondeaux has a reach of 68 inches. So that's pretty interesting considering Rigondeaux is two inches shorter, but his, his reach is about two and a half inches greater than Lomachenko's. They are both southpaws. So I'm anxious to see how that plays out. Will one of them try to switch to orthodox? Will they both remain southpaws? I just want to see how they match up in the southpaw stance. And this is going to be a high speed chess match. No one's going to want to make mistakes. The stakes are high for a fight like this. This is a sold out crowd in New York. Madison Square Garden historic boxing venue. Cotto just fought there last week. And I'm just looking forward to it, man. We haven't seen this before. We haven't seen two two-time Olympic gold medalists finally face each other. This is a fight that was negotiated years ago, but they couldn't agree on the price. The purse and the weight was an issue. So now we're getting it. Drop your fight predictions below. Let me know if Vasily Hightech Lomachenko, aka The Matrix, has what it takes to beat Guillermo El Chicao Rigonau. Or is Rigonau simply too smart and just like his nickname, his moniker, The Jackal? Is he too swift for a guy like The Matrix? Rigonau promises he will be the glitch in The Matrix, and Lomachenko says he will squash Rigonau. Like Highlander, there can be only one. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.